The big concern, however, remains inflation, isn't it, Adrian? And also the growth. We've seen uh, both the IMF and the World Bank recently cutting those growth targets for this year, though the government still uh, seems like believing that it will end up with 5 to 5.5%. 5 what are your economist colleagues telling you? So I, I think it's very unlikely that uh, we'll get a figure above 5% uh, for the year to March 2014. Uh, we're probably looking at numbers nearer 4% um, considering you know, the stresses that we've seen. We've had quite a number of industrial production prints that have been flat to down. Uh, so I, I think, you know, if we're talking about the economic outlook, it will be one of acceleration, but the print for the current fiscal year is going to be disappointing. You told me back in May that if you were to take a 12-month horizon, you believed that India would look far better 12 months down the line than what it did back in May. Is that a view you still hold? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, you know, you, you have a degree of monetary easing in that the currency is more competitive. Uh, if you look at the Indian equity market, it's got quite a lot of overseas earnings uh, which benefit it. Uh, we have good indications on the monsoon, uh, and I, I think the monsoon will probably help the inflationary outlook uh, if we see, you know, healthy production of crops. Uh, globally, agricultural prices have been trending lower uh, with good crops um, in uh, Europe, particularly in Eastern Europe. Uh, we have good crops in uh, the United States and also in Brazil. Uh, there's a complete glut of rice in Thailand. Uh, so I, I think India is going to feel a lot better as we travel through 2014. And I'm not particularly worried about inflation. Uh, if we're correct with that view, then that will free up the RBI to reduce interest rates. We've got a very low base to compare growth with as well in 14 versus 13. Uh, so there are many reasons to be optimistic as we go into the new year. Hello and welcome to Market